Welcome to Cars and Deals. If you're in the market for GLB or GLC, you have to watch this video. I'll help you to decide which one is better for you. I'll show you the monthly payments on each car and I'll talk about the value of GLB and GLC so you know what's the best deal. So I have these two SUVs right in front of me. The black one is a GLB with AMG body style package and the GLC is the base as it can get. MSRP of this car is 48,950. So the reason I have these two cars next to each other because it's similarly uh, priced vehicles. Uh, GLB, let's see, I think it's around 50, so it's 49.3. So it's only $400 difference. And I wanted to show you uh, these two, two cars uh, for few reasons uh, they have about the same price and when people come to the dealerships uh, they want to look at both of these cars because it's similar size uh, similar price so what's the difference between two first of all this black GLB is a 2023 year model and today we got this GLC it's, a, it's a, one of the first 2024s so Basically 23 or 24 GLC, they haven't changed, it's the same car. It's just one year uh, newer. Uh, but GLB will have a refreshment for 2024. Uh, they will come in probably in December to the dealership. So now the dealerships have 2023 uh, GLBs and most of the dealerships have 24 GLCs. So that's why I have both of them in the video. So let's take a look at the GLB and talk about the GLB first. 23 GLB. Uh, they came in in, two, in 2020 as a 2020 year model as a replacement for GLK. Um, originally, it was planned to be a compact SUV, you know, family family friendly, um, boxy design that just like GLK had, very similar to GLS, or even some people draw a parallel with G-Wagon, obviously there is no comparison to two of these Mercedes-Benz models. Um, so boxier design, uh, less price, uh, they even have third row option available in GLB, which you can only sit seven-year-old kids in the back. And um, in a few words, uh, this car, uh, you, have to, you have to love the design. I mean, this design is not for everyone. It's it looks definitely different than other Mercedes-Benz. Doesn't have you know slope in the back, just GLC. It's square, more square, but it offers more legroom for second row, more practical because it has more headroom, has third row, um, you know, a little bit less power, and transmission is dual clutch, eight speed versus nine speed in. GLC, so definitely doesn't run as smooth as the GLC and overall I would say that GLC runs better. Um, the Before GLB had better fuel efficiency uh, with 27 combined 24 in the city, 32 on highway, but now that GLC uses the uh, uh, mild hybrid engine, it has similar fuel efficiency so there is no benefit in a GLB there uh, this one has the AMG body style package uh, and GLC doesn't have it um, again I have it in the review just because it's similarly priced but let's take a look at the some of the options like panorama is $1,500 same in a GLC uh, you have few different options with heated steering wheel Sirius XM heated front seat 64 color ambient light so heated seats are standard in GLC 64 color ambient light standard in GLC uh, parking sensors standard in GLC so a lot of things that you have to pay for in GLB are standard by the way they make these features standard in a 2024 GLB but 23 doesn't have it standard. So for that reason, Mercedes-Benz 
uh, rolled out some aggressive programs for GLB and not GLC. So what I mean by that, on a GLB you have uh, 3.99 financing up to 72 months and better lease manufacturer. You don't have any of those specials on GLC, so the rates are about 7%, unless you can find a credit union that does better or bank that does better, but that's uh, what you're gonna get with Mercedes-Benz. Now, the length, uh, they made the GLC bigger for 2023. Again, they redesigned it in 2023, now it's a 24, but the same car. So it's about two inches, inches bigger than previous uh glc uh generation so it's about three four inches uh, longer than the glb and it's it's a few inches wider as well so glb is narrower it it's got um less of a length so it's a smaller car uh glc has more power it's 255 horsepower uh different transmission so it runs really smooth it's quieter, it has more options, it's got the upgraded uh, screen. Now the GLB will have the same screen for 2.24, uh, but it will have new software just like in GLC. Um, I guess it just won't have this fingerprint, but it, ha it will have the uh, wireless uh, CarPlay. So what's the reason to buy a GLB right now? I believe it's the price. You can you know if you like the GLB you can find one in low 40s without options and you know you can get yourself a Mercedes if you're on the budget stretch uh, but the GLC is really the car that I would go for but it costs a little bit more money so um, overall GLC offers more standard features that you would have to pay extra in a GLB especially 2023 so it, it for me it would be obvious decision but everyone's different you might love the design of glb or you need that third row that costs you about 1200 dollars extra um in a glb you need seven seats you know then it's suv for you but this glc even the base one i would still go for the base one um if i would have to choose between two of them uh base GLC or some options in the GLB so um, that's just really quick I believe there was a lot of chaos in my information but I hope uh, that was helpful to someone and let me show you the payments on two of these cars so I have a lot of numbers for you guys here on the left let's go over the numbers of GLC first we have the price of the car 48.9 discounted by three thousand dollars and then the monthly payments with no special APR right now for this model and the lease payments on the right we can see the lease payments the lease payments or finance payments do not include tax uh, the residuals are here for 36 or 48 month lease and we have GLB here with a bigger discount because 24 is coming out soon and they have special APR of 3.99 right now uh, the lease payments are here so these are not bad lease payments because GLB is one of the models that have special money factor and residuals are actually about the same like GLC and these leases are for 7,500 miles a year. You can do up to 30,000 miles a year with Mercedes-Benz, uh, but uh, your lease payment will go up. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please don't forget to like the video, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and uh, reach out to me if you like uh, one of these cars.